This is Baseball History Daily, and I'm Tom, a baseball nostalgia enthusiast, and I'm just here to bring you a few minutes about today in baseball history. And here's my co-host, Robin, to jump into today's highlights. September 21st, 1958. At Fenway Park, the Red Sox complete a three-game sweep of the Senators all by 2 nothing shutouts. Today's win, however, is marred when Ted Williams, after striking out looking with two aboard to end the third inning, flings his bat aside in a fit of anger. Unfortunately, the unintended flip along the ground sails into the stands and striking of all people, Boston GM Joe Cronin's 69-year-old housekeeper Gladys Heffernan in the head. I didn't mean to throw the bat that way, explains the distraught Williams. I started to flip it along the ground, but the sticky stuff on my hand stuck to it, and it left my hands on the fly instead. I was sick. Thankfully, Heffernan was not badly hurt. September 21st, 2001. A crowd of 41,235 at Shea Stadium witnessed the return of baseball to New York City for the first time since the terrorist attack of September 11th. Uplifting ceremonies before and during the game, which includes singers Diana Ross, Mark Anthony, and Liza Minnelli, as well as bagpipers, pay tribute to victims of the tragedy. September 21st, 1934, the Dean brothers shut out the Dodgers. After Dizzy gives up just three hits in a 13-0 victory, allowing no hits until the eighth, Paul wins a no-hitter 3-0. Diz says, if and Paul had told me he was going to pitch a no-hitter, I'd have thrown one too. September 21st, 1970, the A's Vita Blue no-hits the Twins 6-0, becoming the youngest pitcher to perform the feat since Paul Dean 36 years ago to the day. An Oakland crowd of only 4,284 watches Blue's second major league start. September 21st, 1981, Steve Carlton fans 12 Expos in 10 innings to break Bob Gibson's National League strikeout record. Carlton now has 3,128 strikeouts, but the Phillies lose to the Expos 1-0 in 17 innings. September 21st, 1987, with two stolen bases against the Cubs, Daryl Strawberry joins teammate Howard Johnson as a member of the 30-30 club. It is the first time in Major League history players on the same team have hit 30 homers and have stolen 30 bases in the same year. That was September 21st, this day in baseball. Our extensive collection of radio broadcasts captures the game's most iconic moments. They are retold to you by those who lived it. These broadcasts narrate more than just the game. They paint a vivid picture of the era and the legends that shaped it. Have a quick listen. Brought to you direct from Comiskey Park. Speaking to you from Crosley Field in Cincinnati. This is Ernie Harwell at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. We're at Maven Field. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. Today we're out at the Polo Ground, that historic old home of the New York Giants. Nestled in the lee of Coogan Bluff on the island of Manhattan. Hi there, everybody. This is Ralph Geiner. Welcome to another big league game from Houston, Texas, here at Colt Stadium. And now, good afternoon, everyone, to baseball fans everywhere. This is Bill Slater with Al Helper and Bill Corum greeting you from Brick Stadium in Detroit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Bill. Welcome you to another baseball broadcast. Brought to you direct from Brick Field. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Yankee Stadium. This is Ben Scully along with Jerry Doggett and Al Helper inviting you to stay with us now. Excited to start listening to some of these games? Just come on over to members. This day in baseball.com and join us today. As we wrap up today's show, thank you, Robin, for today's highlights. Uh, you can find her uh, for voiceover work at robinsays.com. And if you enjoy the podcast, please help me out and do one of three things follow, subscribe this podcast, and leave a review. It really helps. Share us with your baseball friends, uh, let them know about us, or Jump over to members.thisdayinbaseball.com, join our email list, community, and our family of baseball podcasts.